Alright guys, welcome to a, another video. I've got something a little bit intriguing and it's uh, I think it's a relatively new release. I'm recording this on the 13th of March, which just happens to be the um, anniversary of both Lucio Fulci and John Holmes' um, their deaths. So uh, yeah, I'll be raising a glass to two of my heroes and uh, a little bit of a shameless plug, cashing in on the death of celebrities. Uh, if you want to check out my film reviews, then I'll put the link down below to the Mondo Squalido channel, um, where I have covered films that have been directed by Lucio Fulci and star John Holmes. So uh, yeah, two great legends and uh, toasting their life with, hopefully, a damn good beer. I say hopefully a damn good beer, this one that I have drank before, and it's also take two of this review, so there's really no surprise whatsoever. But yeah, this is a new beer, I think it's a new beer, from Paolana, a brewery who I've got a hell of a lot of time for. And uh, yeah, in this age, we're, we're almost taught to hate the big boys and the macro companies. I think Germany does big brewing absolutely spot on. And uh, yeah, Paolana are one of the best breweries here in Germany, in my humble opinion. So this is their Paolana Zwickel. Which, uh, look at that label, um, would that be screen printed onto the glass? I mean, it's got texture to it, so it's like debossed. But yeah, beautiful, simple, and then you get a little label on the back giving you information about the beer. Uh, but yeah, coming in a 400 milliliter bottle, which I've not seen before. Sort of reminds me of like a shrunken down version of some of the big like bomber bottles that you get from the States. Yeah, stuff like um, Lost Abbey, that sort of stuff. This little bow neck. Uh, it always just reminds me of like these big American craft beers. But um, yeah, it's something a little bit different. It's departure from their usual bottles and cans. And I welcome that. Um, I'm thinking that this might be cashing in on uh, money. Uh, not, um, who was it? Uh, do, 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 do. Francis Connor, who brought out a Keller beer towards the end of like uh, 2016. And uh, yeah, maybe Paolana trying to get in that, on that sort of market. But they could have brewed this before plenty of times. But it was classed as a new release in the bottle shop that I got this from. Uh, they were selling like a four pack for less than four euros. So yeah, even, that, even if that's just an introductory price, then yeah, I'm, I'm not going to have wasted too much money. And like I said, I already had one of these uh, when we did our Czech Pilster review. Um, live review. I drank one of them after we'd finished. So uh, yeah, let's uh, quickly go over what the ingredients are. So obviously water, malts are Pilsner and Munich, yeast and the hops are uh, Herzbrucker and Hallertala Tradition and the beer is clocking in at 5.5%. So this is what the beer looks like in the glass, and uh, yeah, very very hazy. Not on that like haze for days sort of New England IPA sort of haze, but um, would you expect that really? But yeah, I can see the, the camera um, through it, and yeah, when you hold your fingers though you do see it, but it's very very hazy, very very cloudy, but there aren't really too many bits floating around in there. Um, it sort of reminds me of like a, a cloudy honey almost. Got this lovely orangey yellowy sort of tone to it. And uh, yeah, beer poured. Well, when I initially poured it, it was a beautiful looking beer. You know, I very rarely pour a beer really, really nicely on camera. But of course, when I do, I decide to do another take of the fucking video because that's what I'm like. But um, yeah, lovely white head and it seems to... Uh, be sticking around just like a layer of it. So let's uh, quickly give this a sniff. I'm getting like a slight orangey aroma there, like a very faint orange juice. Mixing in with a little bit of lemon juice. Definitely has that yeasty character, it smells like a bread dough. Lovely gentle spicy tone as well. Sort of like a, a white pepper, maybe, but very, very gentle. It's got this grassy aroma. It's got like a like a dirt 
aroma to it. Not like dirty, like disgusting, but like... How do I best describe it? When like dirt gets kicked up, <laughs> it's the images that come into my head when I'm reviewing these beers. But yeah, very earthy, very herbal-like. But yeah, it smells really, really nice, but it's it's nicely balanced as well. So we'll give it a quick taste and see what we get. Cheers. Definitely get that bread character in there. It's a mixture of like a, a bread dough when you've cooked when you've baked a bread, but it's not like completely cooked through properly. It's edible, but it's quite stodgy, that sort of flavour. And you've got a bit of the bread crust in there as well, with a bit of flour sprinkled on. That's the sort of flavour that I'm getting straight away. That gentle pepperiness comes through once again. Slight hint of a yeast in there also. And a lovely gentle hop character on the back end. It's a very well balanced beer. Um, is it going to set the world ablaze? Not really. Um, the, this sort of style and the subgenres of this style. They don't really tickle me too much. Um, and they're ones that I go to every now and then. But when I saw that this was a new beer from a brewery who I really, really like, I thought, you know, I'm going to give it a go. And I bought four of these for less than four euros. I'm going to happily finish the rest of these beers. And not just drink them for the sake of it. Drink them to enjoy them. You know, this would be perfect with most dishes. Um, I could definitely see this working absolutely perfectly with a lovely cheddar and maybe a rye bread. I think the flavour profile of this beer would just complement and almost accentuate those flavours, if that makes sense. But it, it's just lovely how gentle it is. And it's pretty much like bread, bread, bread for me. With a little bit of herby characters, a little bit of white pepper. Real sense of density to it. Um, I mean, it's only 5.5%, but you wouldn't want to drink all four of the bottles really quickly. Because you'd feel a little bit heavy on the gut, if that makes sense. But yeah, very enjoyable beer. And probably one of the best uh, Zwickel beers that I've had uh, from my somewhat limited experience. And yeah, Paulana, do it again. Very solidly crafted beer. Uh, high quality ingredients. They don't, you know, let quality go out of the window, you know, because they produce so much beer. Like some macro uh, breweries. But yeah, it's it's a great example of a style that I don't really care too much for, if that makes sense. But in terms of a rating, so gassy right now, um, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Um, definitely worth picking up if you come across it. And uh, yeah, it's another solid Paulana beer. So if you have tried this one, uh, even if it is indeed... Uh, a relative new or old beer, then let me know your thoughts and opinions. What are some of your favourite Spickle beers? Uh, what do you think of Paulana? That sort of stuff. Uh, check out my uh, Spickle playlist down below. Check out Paulana. Check out all the usual gubbins in the description box. And of course, if you like your films, more like sleazy exploitation cinema, then the link to uh, my review channel is down below also. So, um, yeah. To you guys, I raise a glass, and to uh, Lichre Fulcher and your homes, I also raise a glass. So thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers.